going to start with like silvery kind of like bracelets. And then the first one is this one right here. This one is from Azos. And it's like this shiny kind of like flat chain uh, bracelet, which is really nice. The color still looks pretty nice. I've had it for maybe a year, a year and a half, and it hasn't turned or faded or lost its color. It has this little extension, adjustable link kind of thing. And it's kind of like this. I really like this. I think it looks really nice. Then second, another chain. And this one is kind of like the same chain style, but it has like this big clasp. And then half of the chain is like this other kind of like link, like bigger. So it's kind of like this. And this one is from, where is this from? I think it's from Poland Bear. And it's really nice. I love the way this one looks as well. Then we have this one right here. This is like one of my favorites. It's like this braided. It has like a lot of chains together. A lot of like smaller chains bunched together and then they made a braid out of it. Like this is the end of it. This is the clasp and the, clo the closure right there. So it looks like this. And this one is from that Italian brand called Emanuele Bicocci. It's really beautiful. Definitely one of my favorites. From the same brand, I have this other beaded kind of like bracelet. It's got the chain and then it's like braided in between the beads. I don't know how this work is called. Uh, I know there is a specific name for it, but I'm not aware. I don't know. I just like the way it looks. You know, whenever I buy something, I I don't care. Like if, if something is appealing to me, yeah, this is what it looks like. And I love stacking it with other bracelets. Again, since I wear a lot of black, I think this goes with a lot of things from my wardrobe. Then we have this cuff right here. And this one has got two skulls, one in each side. It goes like this, and then you just adjust it on your wrist. Just like that. And this, this cuff is from McQueen, Alexander McQueen. I've had this for like many, many years. And I still love it. 
And I love the eyes of this co. It's it's got like two little crystals. I don't know if you can tell. So yeah, I love this. Then I have this super weird looking, very thick kind of like style. I don't know what this is called, but I think this is, I think I also bought this in Italy from like Indian artisans selling their art in the street. Um, and yeah, it was like super affordable. Um, and I love the way this looks. I know that this kind of bracelet is very expensive if you buy it from like a proper, you know, name brand or I don't know, designer or like a jeweler that would make it. Look at how amazing this looks. This is so beautiful. And I think this is real silver too. It's like really heavy. And I love the style, you know, it's just like very, like ethnical. Is that is that a word, ethnical? <laughs> I mean, like it shows like culture, you know? Yeah, this is beautiful. Another one, another cuff. Uh, this one right here. I bought this uh, in Spain, in Barcelona. Also in the street. And this one has got like a drag, like two dragons. And I mean, I don't know the meaning behind it, but I, I just like the way it looks. You know, it's like super cool. I love cuffs. It always gives you like that superhero kind of like vibe. A very thick cuff like this. I love it. And it has like this black detail. So I feel like this also goes with a lot of a lot of stuff that I wear. And you can also stack this with your other accessories. That's what I do. So yeah, I love this. Now on to this other cuff right here. And this one is like in a gold like brushed old gold looking kind of color and this bracelet i've had for so many years i think i have it for i think i have it for 10 years yeah i have to have bought it like 10 years ago and this bracelet is from Beyonce you screw this pin, yeah, you just screw the pin through the holes here and here, and this is what it looks like. I've seen other brands doing like the same exact style. Like, I don't know, I've seen it lately a lot of other brands doing bracelets like this, but this is the original. Beyonce came out with this style. Uh, yeah, so this is like literally 10 years old and I still love the style. Super cool. It goes with this bracelet and the neck with the necklace. And I like to stack this with other kind of like bracelets. So yeah, this is very cool. I'll just keep that on <laughs> to go with the rest of my jewelry. 
then next, what do we have? Okay, so next we have some leather bracelets here. Uh, first one is this wrap around studded kind of style. Uh, this one is from Diesel and it's leather and it's got like silver and like black silver and black studs and it has like a snap button closure right there but yeah this is what it looks like on i really love this you know because sometimes you're lazy to like style your accessories you just put this one on and it Kind of like looks already like you've done a lot, you know, because it wraps around your wrist three times. So yeah, this is really cool. Then we have this other very thick leather cuff that goes like this. And then it closes with a little, you know, belt closure looking thing. I don't know from what brand this is, but I got this at a friend's shop in Berlin. And yeah, this is really cool too. I love this. Uh, then we have this one right here. It's got like this silver beads. And then it's adjustable like this. It has like a little skull in the, in the adjustment part. This one is also from Alexander McQueen. Then we have this other leather one that has a magnet closure and it's got these little skulls all the way around the braided leather piece. And this is like a burgundy reddish kind of like color. It's really nice, very cute. So that is that. Then we have, ah, uh, I don't know what brand this is. Have no idea. Bought it years ago. It says here, rocks and sugar. I don't know if this is the brand, but yeah. Then we have this guy right here. This one is a leather bracelet that also wraps around your wrist like a few times. Then you you tie it together. You have to tie it, you know, like tie a knot or a bowl. And then it has a feather detail, which I really, really like. And this one I bought in Brazil a few years ago and it's from a brand called JK. I don't remember. <laughs> I really don't remember the brand, but it's from Brazil. Then I have this other little one right here with the evil eye. That's what it's called, right? The evil eye. It's very cute, adjustable here in the back. There is no brand, I don't know. A friend of mine gave it to me as a gift, so yeah. And what else? Oh, I have this other braided leather ones, colorful like this that was actually made by my sister. 
My sister made them and she gave them to me. How fun is this? It's amazing. This is like, it's like a suede leather. And then she just braided them. I don't know how she did it. I have no idea how you make this, but yeah. I really love this. And then there's also this black one with a silver chain in the middle, also made by my sister. It goes like this. Very cute. And lastly, I have my beads that I love me some beaded bracelets. I have several of them. Just dropped one on the floor. <laughs> but yeah, I have all these beaded bracelets right here that I really love. Brown one, then Black, of course, I have to have a black beaded bracelet. Then a turquoise one, which I love the color. Love it. Then we have this white one that it's kind of like marble. It's like marbled looking white with gray and it has a little um, pendant right there. I don't remember the brand. It says Miracle Icon. I don't know, no idea. I buy this stuff in the mall also from like, uh, you know, artisans selling their work in the street and like little booth or kiosks. This one is really nice too, green. I bought this one in China. This one is a very like traditional Chinese kind of like beads. And I'm not sure what kind of rock this is, but this is this is definitely a stone. Uh, and then lastly, this one with like turquoise and also wood together. Oh, this one here, it's Ser Sergio, Sergio K. Sergio K is the brand from Brazil. So this bracelet is the same brand as this one right here, Sergio K. So yeah, you guys, these are all the beaded bracelets that I have. Oh, and also this one's right here. It's like shells, like, some type of seashells. I don't know what kind of shell this is, but I really like this kind of gig too. <laughs> you know, it's like very nice for summer. So this one has the shells all around the bracelet and then you adjust in the back like that. And this one has only one shell. And I believe this one was made by my sister as well, which I love. She gifted it to me. So yeah, I love it. And that is all you guys. That's, that's actually not everything I have. I have a lot more accessories, but I've picked my favorite ones to show you. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it. 
Let me know in the comments what's your favorite. Let me know if you have any question. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.